Yeah, I guess this is my little sanctuary um, in Newcastle that I found. We have been living here for six and a half years now. Get to raise the kids on two and a half acres here and let them be pretty free range. And um, yeah, it's definitely a beautiful part of the world. I'm Julian Wilson, professional surfer, part-time moto head. This is my backyard. We're in Newcastle, Australia. God's country, mate. It's known as a steel city and it's quite industrial, but it's actually a really beautiful town. We're in the heart of Newcastle and surrounded by National Park. Got a lot of friends here that have the same interests. We all ride and same guys like to surf and same guys like to play golf. So a lot of crossover and um, yeah, it's a great place to live. For the average person, they look at motorbikes, dirt bike riding as like a fun hobby. It requires so much strength and cardio and like good decision making and just like this really intense state of mind that you have to function in. But yeah, I've, I've always used motorbikes as, as a tool in, throughout my career. My biggest fear as a professional surfer was to be like a very predictable surfer and I felt like um, continuing to have dirt bikes and skating and those things um, as hobbies throughout my career it always made me think differently about how I approach my surfing. I definitely think it had an influence. Yeah, so when it comes to bikes, I mostly ride the KTM bikes. Um, thanks to the guys at KTM, they look after me. I currently have a 350 trail bike, an EXC. I've just got a new 450 motocross bike. And then I've also got a 125 Husky that I've had for the last three years. Yeah, I think from a very young age, I, I got I think I got the bug from my dad because he loved bikes, but even meeting Ford Dale at a really young age and watching what he could do on a motorbike, I, there was like an instant respect that I had in that moment. And then some of my best friends I've met through motorbikes and some athletes that I've looked up to throughout my career have been professional mo motorbike riders. He's so much more capable than he lets on and sometimes it won't be feeling right the first half hour but once he settles in and just has that patience he's fine. It's good to be able to just calm him and just reassure him that just give it time. Um, don't rush it, take your time and just feel it out. Uh, sometimes he hasn't ridden in a long time generally when he comes around here he's always busy and on the road and so got so much on with family and stuff and so for him to come back out and it's kind of always out of his comfort zone. I guess it'd be like me paddling out pipe, I'd be hanging off him because I'd be shitting bricks. So just giving him that confidence to, to say, you can do it, just like, keep going. Like, don't give up, the track's hard, or just give him some guidance on what I'm feeling as well. So then it, it's not just the bike or it's not this, it's a, a range of things. So yeah, it really helps. I think the biggest crossover is surfing and motocross. You enjoy riding a dirt bike when everything flows and you don't think about it. Same with surfing, when you can connect your, a wave together and you're not thinking about it, you're just going where you want to go. The other thing is like it relates to sort of bigger wave, waves of consequence, making really good decisions when you've got a lot of fear and stuff going on. Julian's been one of the best surfers in the world for a long, long time. And what people probably don't know about him is he's a legit motocross rider. Like, he's seriously good. He's also good in a number of different sports. He plays golf, scratch, uh, really good mountain biker. But he's been passionate about motorbikes for a long, long time. And we've seen him in and around the moto community, um, you know, and seeing him on a bike and how well he can actually ride. It's really cool to see a, a surfer of his ability also be so passionate about riding dirt bikes. In the motorbike world, the guys that are super, super fast are extremely humble in, um, you know, knowing how they can assess 
a gnarly situation, how well they can manage it. For motorbike riders, going surfing would be such a great reset for their careers and I feel like surfers, if they're willing to, motorbike is the ultimate reset. You can't think about a single other thing in the world except surviving a track and getting around a track. So it's just a great way to reset.